In this video, we'll be converting from grams of one substance to grams of another. The question asks, if you have 54.7 grams of HCl, how many grams of H2S will you have? First, we need to know how or the molar mass of our two substances. So we find the molar mass by looking at the periodic table and adding up their masses. So, the molar mass for HCl is equal to 36.5 grams for every one mole. Also the molar mass for H2S is equal to 34.1 grams for every one mole. Finally, I need to know the relationship between HCl and H2S. Now this is why we have the balanced equation. So up here I have my HCl and I have my H2S. Now by using the numbers in front of those, I can create a relationship between them. So what I have is a two in front of HCl and nothing in front of H2S. What that signifies is that there's just one H2S. So the relationship I have is that for every two HCl, I have one H2S, or for every one H2S, I have two HCl. Now which fraction we use will depend upon what we're trying to accomplish in the problem. So let's begin with things that we know. So we know that we have 54.7 grams of HCl. Now I want to use this fraction, but it's upside down. Because I have grams here, I need to have grams on the bottom here. So I'm going to put 36.5 grams of HCl here, and then one mole of HCl here. This will allow for grams to cancel each other out, which I'll show a little bit later. Next, I have mole of HCl. Since mole of HCl is on the top here, I need to have a mole of HCl down here. Now to know what number comes in front, is where I'm going to use these fractions. Now I'm going to use this fraction here on the right because it has the HCl on the bottom. So since that has a 2, I'm going to put a 2 right here. And then on top we'll go the 1 mole of H2S. Now for my last step. I need to convert the moles of H2S to grams of H2S. Well here I'm going to use the molar mass. So I'll use this fraction. So I'll have my 34.1 grams of H2S over 1 mole of H2S. Now I can go ahead and I can solve this problem. Now let me point out something about this problem to let you know if you're headed in the right direction. Whenever you have units of something, for example we have units of grams of HCl here, we did a diagonal down here and then had grams of HCl here. This same thing happened with mole of HCl. We had mole of HCl here, we did a diagonal, and now we have mole of HCl here. We had a mole of H2S here, did a diagonal, and had mole of HCl or H2S down here. This is always the case when converting from grams to grams. The very last thing in the top right hand corner, so right here, should always be the units that you're looking for. And because we're looking for grams of H2S, that's exactly what we have here. So now let's go ahead and multiply things together and get them into the right place. So 54.7 times 1 times 1 times 34.1 is 1865. Now this is going to be grams of HCl times mole of HCl times mole of H2S times grams of H2S. Now all of this is going to be over our bottom, which is 36.5 times 2 times 1, which is 73. Now this is grams of HCl times mole of HCl times mole of H2S. Now looking at the top and bottom of this fraction, I can see that I have grams of HCl here grams of HCl here. I have a mole of HCl here, I have a mole of HCl here. I have a mole of H2S here, and mole of H2S here. All that's left is gram of H2S, 
which is exactly what the question wanted me to find. Next I'll take my 1865 and I'll divide by 73 and that is going to be equal to 25.5 grams of H2S. And that is how you convert from grams of one substance to grams of another substance.